Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I'm continuing my journey through CXC Beauty. They sent me two amazing PR packages recently that contain three of their latest palettes. Up in it today is going to be the Pink Sands palette. They also sent me, which I love that they do this, they do, this is a 21 pan palette and then this is a little 9 pan palette, a smaller version with a select few shades from the larger palette. Both palettes are available right now on their website. This one retails for, I believe, $59, $59.57. The smaller one, I forget the price. I think it could be in the 20s, but I do have an affiliate code, which is Steph, and that saves you 15% off of your order. So not 10 like we're used to getting. CXE Beauty does one better for us and they give us 15% off. This palette, and I need to backtrack to Stormy Skies as well, but let me give you a closer look inside the Pink Sands palette. So again, 21 pan palette full of matte and shimmer shadows, but this palette was kind of remi reminding me of the old ABH fave and let me get it because I have it right here, the Modern Renaissance Palette. So my palette is a golden oldie. I have not touched this in years, years. This is what my palette looks like, but this is what Pink Sands looks like. So hold them together. I think you could see the comparisons. This is the up dated version of Modern Renaissance from ABH, but this was a cult favorite. I think it still is, and you can find them floating around like at TJ Maxx. Uh, when I say I wanted to backtrack to Stormy Skies, which was, I think, one of the last videos that you might have seen from me, this is the Stormy Skies palette right here. But I wanted to mention, or I failed to mention in that video, that I think thought it looks similar to the Norvina palette also from ABH. So here is my old Norvina palette and then here is Stormy Skies from CXC Beauty. I think you can definitely see the resemblances and you are getting more shades. I don't think this is in production anymore. If it is, perhaps only on the ABH website. I'm not too sure on the status of Modern Renaissance and Norvina from um, ABH. I know they have since revamped their formula. I'm not a big fan of their new formula, but some of you might be. I also wanted to point out, also because this is a fairly new video that you've uh, gotten from me, and this is the High Temp Palette from Unearthly Cosmetics. This one is set to drop on June 27th. This is what high temp looks like. And some of you in the comments said, it's a beautiful palette. It's just not for me. It's not my color story. I wanna hold these up because this one from CXC could be a nice alternative to this one from Unearthly. Yeah, you don't get the yellows in there, but for some of you, that might have been what was throwing you off from high temp, but you do get a lot of the other shades, similar shades to where you could create similar looks. I think that the shimmers are pretty similar as well. So just wanted to point those little, little differences, those little comparisons out in case you are considering purchasing um, the pink sands palette maybe you're gonna go oh I didn't show you the smaller one I don't want to get into this too much because I am gonna save this one for a giveaway so I still have the little plastic on it but that's what the nine pan palette looks like I mean for some of you this is enough like this is all you need the 21 pan is just a little too much but we have options we have options when it comes to CXC beauty let me put that off to the side and today I will be creating two looks for you guys. Really excited, always happy when I get to try new makeup from some of my favorite indie brands. If it is your first time here on my channel, let me just give you a warm welcome. Hello, my name is Steph. I love trying new makeup. I'm primarily a new makeup review channel. But I do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes, makeup ranking videos, all that good stuff. I'm behind on my May faves and fails. You guys will see that coming up really soon, I promise. But um, if that sounds great to you and you want to see my videos, I'm pretty 
much a regular basis. I try to upload as often as I can, whenever I can. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button, hit the bell next to it. That way you can be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you have become a big fan of CXC Beauty just the way I have, or maybe you've never heard of this brand and you're curious, you're intrigued, please give this video a big thumbs up before you go. As usual, everything that I'm wearing will be linked and listed in the description box. Some of those things might be affiliate links, so if you do end up shopping, I thank you so, so much for supporting me and this channel. Let's get started, guys, with look number one, Pink Sands. If you guys want to see how this palette is going to perform, keep on watching. So for the first look, I think I am going to... I'm wearing like red, white, and blue to work today. I'm wearing jeans to work today. Um, so I can pretty much do, I can do pretty much any kind of look. Um, I think I'm going to start, I'm going to start with this little pink shade over here. It's a little darker in person than what it's coming across on camera. But I'm going to use my Refer 27 and we're going to start putting that in the inner portion and blend it towards the crease, towards the brow bone. Feel like I'm too far away. Let me scoot closer. There we go. Okay. All right, same brush. Now I'm going to dive into this shade over here. This is a little bit of a deeper. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. I'm going to go up here to this one. This one really is a deeper shade. Same brush. I think my brush is a little too fluffy. When you have a very fluffy brush, it shears out the shadow a bit more. Which is fine. Not everything needs to be super intense. Okay. I'm liking that. Let me move down to a smaller brush. And then I think I want to go into, so we have two different browns. This one looks more cool tone. This one looks more warm tone. I like that. I like that we get that variance in tones in CXC Beauty palettes. But I feel like, I feel like I'm going to be using these two shades next. For sure, this one first. I'm taking this pink shade. Can you see it? That one there on my refer 14 and I'm just going to focus that in the crease. And I cleaned off that brush. I'm going to go into the dark brown. Just focus that right in here. Oh, it looks good. Nice blend. Okay, so for shimmer, I think I got to go for it. I think I got to do this pink shimmer on the lid. And I'm using my damp Morphe M124 to apply. All right, now with my finger, I'm going to pick up this shade right here. It looks like. I'm going to pop it in the center. Very cool. Look at that. Ooh, I love it. I think that's going to be our inner corner highlight as well. Now for the lower lash line, um, I think I'm going to do, I'll do this pink over here. And this is a Game Beauty E04. Now I'm using a damp Refer 03 and that light pink shimmer shadow right here for the inner corner. And I think the look is pretty much complete. I'm going to add mascara and liner, and I will be right back to show you this completed look number one. All right, guys, so here is the completed look number one. I did some LA Girl liquid eyeliner on the top lash line, this Milani tubing mascara. That's the one I'll be using in today's video. And for the lower waterline, a ColourPop cream gel liner in the shade Fruit Fantasy. Love it. Just a nice pink romantic look. Let's move over to the left eye and we'll start working on look number two. All right. So for look number two, I guess we could do something maybe a little more neutral, maybe a little more simple. That way, you know, we don't always have to use like three or four shades. I want to see... 
I'm thinking I'm going to do just these two shades and then just do one shimmer. And I know that's going to me mean me trying less of the palette, but I just want to see, you know, what just two mattes can do and a shimmer. So let's do it that way. And I'm going in with my Refer 14, applying the shadow to the crease. I don't know if I told you that the eyeshadow primer I'm wearing is the one from Sigma. They sent me, if you follow me over on Instagram, they sent me the largest lip product PR package that I've ever received in my life. Like they pretty much sent their entire lip collection from lip masks to lip oils, like with lipsticks. I mean, this was their best in class collection. And oh my god, like wow. It was just a sea of lip products. I will not use be able to use all of them. I'm just gonna pick my favorites and then I'm gonna leave some for a giveaway. And then I'm gonna give some to my friends at work and do it like that because oh and my mom. My mom's always asking for new lipstick. So yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna do. Um I don't sell makeup. I don't do any of that. Um, at one time, I made a Mercari, uh, but I never like followed through with it. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna have time to keep up with this, and I really don't have time now. So yeah, no, I don't. I don't. Um, I don't sell anything, and I don't give I give away stuff but when I have giveaways on my channel you know what I mean so I don't just if people write to me and they say if I can give them something I don't I don't do it that way so just FYI looks good I'm gonna go in with a darker brown Ooh, nice so actually I think this might be a little more cooler and the other one is more of a warm the other one turned out to be more of like a burgundy shade. Now I'm also taking that same dark brown down to the lower lash line. I'm using a Refer 03. All right, now for our shimmer shadow, I think I like this one that it's like an orange shade but I want to keep it I want to keep it kind of just simple so I think I'm just gonna do this one right here I'm using a damp Luxie 245 to apply some of you are probably saying Steph this is not a simple look it is for me <laughs> Because I'm used to using more shades just to try them out. But I have a pretty good feel for the CXC Beauty formula already to where I can tell you you're not going to have any issues when it comes to their formula. It's pretty solid. These shimmers are traditional shimmers. So they're not multi-duochrome or anything like that. But they do pack a punch, especially when you spray them. Now I'm taking that same shade on the damp Refer 03 and I'm just putting it right in here in the inner corner. And I think that completes the look. See how quick and easy that was? I'm going to add some liner and mascara. I'll be right back to show you the completed look number two. Okay guys, so here's the completed look number two. I kept this look really simple with just black eyeliner on the top lash line and in the lower waterline, same mascara, but the black eyeliner I used for the lower waterline is quickly becoming one of my favorites and it is this one from Win Beauty. It's just a regular black eyeliner and you have like a little sharpener and you have a little smudger right here on the tip. So I did do a full review of Win Beauty. That's already up on my channel in case you want to check that out. But let me go ahead and wrap up today's video and I'll give you guys my final thoughts on the new Pink Sands palette from CXC Beauty. Okay guys, so another fun time creating looks with another CXC Beauty palette. This one is Pink Sands, which one of these days I will definitely make my way to Exuma Bahamas. That's where I've heard they have Pink Sands. And that way I can go see them myself, see it in self uh, live and upfront and in close and in person. But this is what the Pink Sands palette looks like. 21 shadows, matte shimmers, great formula, easy to work with, easy to blend. 
Um, the shimmers are traditional shimmers, so I would recommend that you spray your brush. That way you can get the most impact that way. But you can see even right here, just if you use your finger with some of the lighter shades and just tap it on the lid that way, perfection. I've worn these palettes. I've been wearing these palettes like all week. Um, they wear really well. I don't get fallout throughout the day. Like everything just holds on. It's locked in all day long and I love the variety and what I love most about CXC Beauty is that they give you a smaller version of their larger palette. I know Beauty Bay does that. There's a couple other brands that do that but um, I always like it when an indie brand, one of our favorite indie brands can do that for us because you know not everybody's going to be interested in 21 shadows but 9 pan that's really easy to travel with, slip in a bag and just go. But I'm gonna give Pink Sands two thumbs up just the way I gave to Stormy Skies. I've loved all of my CXC Beauty palettes. I have about five of these 21 pan palettes and I have really enjoyed them. I hope those of you who have tried based off of my recommendation are enjoying them as well. The packaging is really sturdy packaging. It's a hard plastic and you do get that full size mirror. And then you have the shade names and everything on the back. Very happy. Thanks so much to the team at CXC Beauty for sending this palette to me in PR. Let me know your thoughts now, guys. Which look was your favorite? Team one, team two, none. All sound off in the comments down below. And if you're going to order from CXC Beauty, make sure you use my affiliate code STEPH because that does save you 15% off of your order. Not a bad deal at CXC Beauty. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. Y'all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, drink that water, and I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye!